now this is a specimen for the larynx first of all the determination of the side now you can see this as a tongue so this side comes the anterior one and this is the posterior side now we have taken this specimen from this root of this tongue and portion of the cartilages or the larynx now first of all let us see the cartilages as you can see this is a tongue below the tongue you can make out this as a higher bone higher bone below the higher bone you can make out the lamina of this thyroid cartilage now we are looking from the lateral side that's why you can make out the quadrangular shape lamina of the thyroid cartilage the two sides are getting fused in the midline making the laryngeal prominence now this is a laryngeal prominence and this is the other side of lamina of the thyroid cartilage now below the thyroid cartilage you can also feel you can also feel the cricoid cartilage now this cricoid cartilage is in the form of arch anteriorly but on the posterior side it makes the lamina now you if you go on posterior side you can make out this as a lamina of the cricoid cartilage okay this much is the lamina of the cricoid cartilage and if you go anteriorly you can see you can feel the ring or the arch of this cricoid cartilage so there are nine cartilages in in the larynx one is the thyro, uh, thyroid cartilage cricoid cartilage and epiglottis epiglottis so these three are unpaired and three are paired which are arytenoid which is getting lost over this lamina of the cricoid cartilage arytenoid carniculate and cuneiform now these two are the swellings here you can see this is uh, for the carniculate and the cuneiform now if you see the epiglottis this cartilage it is it is in the form of the leaf so this is a upper free margin this right margin left margin and you can see the attached margin now this margin is of this epiglottis is getting attached on the posterior aspect of this thyroid cartilage in the midline so this epiglottis is a midline cartilage or and to see for the orientation of this arytenoid with other cartilage he in this specimen you can see so this was the thyroid cartilage higher bone and here is the cricoid cartilage now if you see the posterior aspect you can make out this much is the lamina of the cricoid cartilage on which on both side the arytenoids are situated now arytenoid you can make out this as apex this as a muscular process and in the midline that is the vocal process vocal process or you can see on this side also so here is the vocal process and above this arytenoid there are carniculate and the cuneiform which are lying in the aryepiglottic fold now aryepiglottic fold as the name is telling it is from this epiglottis to the apex of the arytenoid so this is how the laryngeal cartilages are situated